Robinson and I uh, graduated from the University of Florida in May of 2008. I majored in anthropology and criminology and I also took a substantial amount of art courses. After that I matriculated to Louisiana State University where I engaged in their anthropology master's program. Uh, what drew me to LSU was um, components of the anthropology department there, one being the Faces Lab, which is known more specifically as the Forensic Anthropology and Computer Enhancement Service Laboratory. When you talk about forensic artistry, what drew you to that? The way I was introduced was when I was a child. I always had an interest in art, but I also, also had an interest in, I guess you would say law enforcement. I always found myself watching shows like Cops, and America's Most Wanted. I was a faithful uh, viewer of America's Most Wanted every Saturday night at 9 o'clock. They did a special on the forensic artist. I can't recall exactly who that artist was, but pretty much um, they reconstructed the young woman's identity based off of her skull. And so when I saw that, you know, that was, that was the first time I had ever seen anything like that. And I just started to research it. I went to the library when I was in high school and looked that up and found, and that's how I was introduced to the wonderful world of forensic art. Well, tell us more about what you did. Um, I've been dedicating more time to art. And it's something I wanted to do for a very, very long time. Start, I guess, my own art business. And so, you know, when trying to come up with a name, I came up with uh, the term JART to put in my initials, JR for Jermaine Robinson, and combine that with JART. That was my way of being creative. A lot of the art pieces that I've done, you'll see pictures of uh, historical figures such as Martin Luther King, Coretta Scott King, Barack Obama, then you'll see even Sarah Palin, regardless of what people's political beliefs are about any political figure, then you'll see um, entertainers such as the King of Pop, Michael Jackson, and so on and so forth. Well, you, you should all definitely join your uh, local alumni association. You know, it's always a way that you can still participate in what your alma mater has to offer for the next century, whether you want to contribute, whether you want to attend meetings, whether you want to come to a social event, whether you just want to network, join your local alumni association especially um, you know the special interest group association of black alumni but also you know you network to help others is, is a two-way street you can't you know just look 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 to take and receive you also have to give back and you know I want to share ideas maybe there are other artists out there or other people who have share some of the same interests that I have and it's also interesting to let everybody know that Jermaine is actually was the artist behind the South Florida logo for ABA so just to throw that out there how do people contact you if they're interested in getting a piece of your work or want to find out more about what you do? I, I have a website, jartwork.com, that's J-A-R-T-W-O-R-K, jartworkcreative.com. <laughs> and um, you can also email me at jartforsale at gmail.com, or you can Facebook me. Thanks for talking with us. You're our first feature story so thank you and congratulations on everything